Genesis 1, 1 to 8. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided light from the darkness. And God called light day, and darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters, which were under the firmament from the waters, which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. Genesis 15, 1. And after these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Genesis 26, 12, 13. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. Exodus 20, 13 to 16. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness again as a neighbor. Leviticus 18.22 Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind, it is abomination. Numbers 23.19 God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, shall he not make it good? Deuteronomy 5, 17 to 20. Thou shalt not kill, neither shall thou commit adultery, neither shall thou steal, neither shall thou bear false witness against thy neighbor. Deuteronomy 6, 3 to 9. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and it may increase mightily as the Lord God of thy fathers hath promised for thee in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thine soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I commanded this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall, uh, and they shall be frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the post of the house and thy gates. Joshua 1.8.9 this book of the Lord shall not depart out of the mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make the way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong, have a good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Churches 14, 5, 6. Then went Samson down and his father and his mother to Timnath and came to the vineyards of Timnath. And behold, a young lion roared against him, and the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and he rent him as he would have rent a kid, and he had nothing in his hand, but he told not his father or his mother what he had done. Ruth 2 to all, the Lord recompense the work, and a full reward be given unto thee of the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings thou come to trust. 1 Samuel 17:37. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of power of lion and the power of bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. 2 Samuel 15:31. And one told David, saying, Ahitophel is among the conspirators with Absalom. And David said, O Lord, I pray thee, turn the counsel of Ahitophel into foolishness. 1 Kings 3, 9, 10, 13, 14. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad, for who is able to judge this side so great a people? 
and the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing, and I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. And if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my statues, uh, and if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my statues, my commandments, as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days. Second Kings 19.34 for I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. First Chronicles 4, 9, 10. And Zabes was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called his name Zabes, saying, I bear him with sorrow, and Zabes called on the God of Israel, saying, O oh, that thou wouldst bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me. Uh, that thou wouldst keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me, and the Lord granted him what he requested. Second Chronicles 15, 7, Be strong therefore, and let not hands be weak, for yoke shall be rewarded. Ezra 7, 10, For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of God, and to do it, and to teach in his old statutes and judgments. Nehemiah 8, 10, Then he said unto them, Go you away, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Esther 4.15, then Esther bade them written Mordecai these answers. Job 23.12, neither have I gone back from the commandments of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. 39.22, he mocketh at fear, and is not affrighted, neither he turneth not back from the sword. 40.19, he is the chief of the ways of God, he that made him can make his sword to approach unto him. 41.33, upon earth there is not his like who is made without fear. Psalms 18.1, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Psalms 29.1-11, to give unto the Lord, were ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon, and Syrian like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divided the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord maketh hints to call, and discovereth forests. And his temple everyone speak of his glory. The Lord sitteth upon the flood. Yea, the Lord sitteth king for ever. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Psalms 34.10, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Psalms 37.5, commit thy way unto the Lord, and trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Psalms 46.1-5, God is our refuge and strength and a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea, though the waters will be drawn with trouble, though the mountains shake the swellings thereof shall I. There is a river that streams where I shall make glad to the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved, God shall help her on the right early. Psalm 60, 11, 2, I'll give us help from trouble, for wine is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall treat down our enemies. Psalms 1 at 7, 6, 13, 19, 28. Then they cried unto the Lord in the trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. Then they cried unto the Lord in the trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. Then they cry unto the Lord in the trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. Then they cry unto the Lord in the trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. 
Psalms 107, 8, 15, 21, 31. All that man would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of man. All that man would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of man. All that man would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of man. All that man would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of man. Psalms 108, 12, 13. Give us help from trouble, for wine is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tear down our enemies. Psalms 146, 1, praise ye the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. Psalms 147, 12, praise the Lord, O Jerusalem, praise the God, O Zion. Proverbs 1, 1, 2, 3, 7. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know the wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity. The fate of the Lord is beginning of knowledge, but fools despise the wisdom and instruction. Ecclesiastes 9.8, let thy garments be always white, and let the head lack no ointment. Ecclesiastes 11.1, 1, cast thy bread upon the waters, and thou shalt find it after many days. Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Song of Solomon 4, 12. A garden enclosed is my sister, my spouse, a spring shut up on a fountain sealed. Isaiah 26, 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. Isaiah 27, 3. I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment, lest any hide it. I will keep it night and day. Isaiah 28, 26. For his God do it, instruct him to discretion, and do it, teach him. Isaiah 40, 29. He giveth power to faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Isaiah 40, 31, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 41, 8, but though Israel art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Isaiah 41, 10, fear do not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 49, 15, 16. Can a woman forget her sucking child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yeah, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have grown thee upon the palms of my hands, thy walls are continually before me. Isaiah 54.10, For the mountains shall depart, and hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord that hath mercy on thee. Isaiah 55.8.9, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your ways are my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are the higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Jeremiah 15, 11. The Lord said, Verily it shall be well with the raiment. Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. Jeremiah 15, 21. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Say the Lord, thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. Jeremiah 32, 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Jeremiah 33, 3, Call unto me. And I, and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Lamentations 3, 21 to 23. 
This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is their faithfulness. H. Kill 1823. Have we any pleasure at all that we should die, say the Lord God, and not that He should return from His ways and live? H. Kill 1832. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that died, say the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. H. Hill 36, 27. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Daniel 3, 16, 17, 18. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said unto the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we're not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery friends. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be known unto this, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Hosea 14:4-5. I will heal their black sliding. I will love them freely, for mine angry is turned away from him. I will be as dear unto Israel. He shall grow as lily and cast forth his roots of Lebanon. Joel 2.27, And he shall know that I am in the midst of the Israel. I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people never be ashamed. Amos 3.3, can two walk together except they be agreed? Obadiah 121, and the saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge them out of Asia, and kingdom shall be the Lord's. Jonah 1.1, 1, 1. now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Micah 7, 18, 19, 20, who is a God like unto thee that patterneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever, because uh, he delighteth in mercy. He will turn again, he will have compassion on us, he will subdue our iniquities, and uh, thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Thou will perform to, to Jacob and mercy to Abraham, that which has uh, sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. Nahu 1.7, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, he knoweth them that trust in him. Habakkuk 1 13. Thou art of pure rise, then to behold evil, and canst not look on iniquity. Wherefore, look as though upon them that deal trenchously, and holdest thy tongue when the wicked devoureth the man that is more righteous than he. Jephaniah 3, 14, 15, sing O daughter of Chion, shout O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away the judgments, he has cast out the enemy, the king of Israel, even the Lord is in the midst of thee, thou shalt not see evil anymore. Haggai 2, 5, according to the word which I covenanted with you when ye came out of Egypt. So my spirit remaineth among you, fear ye not. Zechariah 1, 13, and the Lord answered the angel that talked with me with good words and comfortable words. Malachi 3, 16, 17. Then they that fear the Lord spake after and one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard. And the book of remembrance was written before him. For them that fear the Lord and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in the day when I make up my jewels, I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Matthew 12, 36, 37. But I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give account of the day of judgment. For by the words thou shalt be justified, and by the words thou shall be condemned. Mark 1, 1, 4, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, 
which shall prepare the way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his path straight. John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Mark 3, 23 to 30, And he called them unto him, and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his skills, except he will first bind the strong man and then spoil his house. Verily I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and wherewithsoever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but in the danger of eternal damnation, because this said he hath an unclean spirit. Luke 10, 17 to 20. And the 70 written again with joy, saying, Lord, even devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said, I beheld sadness lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Luke 10, 41, 42. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art being cared and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful. Mary has chosen good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Luke eleven thirteen. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Luke 12, 4 to 12. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you to whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast out into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two fat things, and not one of them is forgotten before God. But even the very hairs of your head all number. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Also I say unto you, whoso ever shall confess me before man him shall the son of man also confess that before the angels of God but he that denieth me before man shall be denied before the angels of God and whosoever shall speak a word against the son of man it shall be forgiven unto him but unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Ghost it shall not be forgiven and when they bring you into synagogues and magistrates and powers take ye no thought how or what ye shall answer or what ye shall say for the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what you had to say. Luke 13, 2, 3, and Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galatians were sinners of all Galatians, because they suffered such things, I tell you nay, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Luke 14, 25 to 30, there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first and counted the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it? Lest happily, after he had laid the foundation, and is not able to finish it, all that behold, it began to mock him, saying, This man began to build, and is not able to finish. Luke 15, 11 to 20. And he said, A certain man had two sons. And the anger of them said his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that fall to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the anger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and they wasted his substance with rudest living. And when he had spent all there, arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the hacks that swine did eat, and no man gave one to him. 
And when he came to himself, he said, How many hate servants of my father have bread enough and spare, and I perish with hungry. I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I will no more what be called thy son, and make me as one of the hate servants. And he arose and came to his father, but when he was at a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Luke 16, 19 to 24. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate, full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom, and the rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, he seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Luke 17, 32 to 37. Remember Lot's life, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you, in a night there shall be two men in one bed, the one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together, the one shall be taken, and the, and the other left. Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is tighter, will eagles be gathered together. Luke 18, 18 to 30. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good, say one that is God. Do not is the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother. And he said, All this have I kept my youth up. Now when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, At like as though one thing, sell all that thou hast, and distribute unto the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How holy shall they that have riches to enter into the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle side than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they that heard it said, Who then can be saved? And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house or parents or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of God's sake, who shall not receive manifold more in this present time and in the world to come life everlasting. John 14, 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Acts sixteen thirty one. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. Romans 14, 17, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. 1 Corinthians 1, 3-6, Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on behalf of you for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ that in everything ye are enriched by him in all our trends and in all knowledge even as a testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. 2 Corinthians 7 1 Having therefore these promises really beloved let us cleanse ourselves from the filthiness of flesh and spirit perfecting holiness in the fear of God. 
Galatians 5, 22, 23, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Ephesians 2, 8, 9, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Philippians 4, 4, 5, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto man, the Lord is at hand. Colossians 1, 14, 15, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. 1 Thessalonians 2, 19, 20, for what is our hope, our joy, our crown of rejoicing? Are not even ye in the presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ at his coming, for ye are our glory and joy? 2 Thessalonians 2, 17, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. 1 Timothy 1, 15, this is a faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished into all good works. Titus 2, 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Philemon 1, 3. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hebrews 9.27 And as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment. James 4.6 But he giveth more grace, wherefore he said, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. 1 Peter 1.16, because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. 2 Peter 3.18, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. 1 John 5.17, all unrighteousness is sin and there is a sin not unto death. 2 John 1.11, For he that biddeth him God's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. 3 John 1.4, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Jude 1, 2. Mercy unto you, and peace, and love be multiplied. Revelation 1, 1 to 20. The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him, which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made it priests, and hath made it Kings and priests unto God, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which passed him, and all kinds of else shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. I'm Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day 
and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet, saying, I'm Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, and to Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the wise that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and grit about the paps with a golden griddle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, out of his, out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. Behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sized in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sized are the seven churches. Revelation chapter 2, 1 to 29. And unto the angel of the church in Ephesus, write these things, say, He that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and had found them liars, and has borne, and has patience, for my name's sake has labored, and hath not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left the first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. Or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except they repent. But this thou hast, that thou hates the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath done here, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, write these things, saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know their works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear not of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that he may be tried, and he shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto churches. He that overcometh shall not be heard of the second death. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write these things, said, He which hath sharp sword with two edges, I know the works, and where thou dwellest even where Saturn's seed is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hath not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my martyr who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have few things against thee, because thou hast them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So has them that also hold the doctrine of Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent or else I will come unto thee quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an hear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, 
and will give him a white stone and in the and in the white stone a new name written which no man knoweth saving he that receiveth it and unto the angel of the church in Tartaria write this thing say the son of God who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire and his feet like unto fine brass I know their works and service and charity I know the works and charity and service and faith and thy patience and thy works and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have few things against thee because those suffered that woman judge about which calleth herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of, of, of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into bed, and them that commit adultery with her in the great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searches the rents and hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Tyria, as many as have not known this doctrine, and have not known the depths of Saturn as I speak, I will put upon you none other burden, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the bells of a porter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto churches. And I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto churches. Revelation chapter 3, 1 to 22. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write these things, say, He that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know the works, that thou hast the name that thou livest, and art dead. Be watchful, and strengthen the things which remind that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received, and heard, and hold fast, and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father, and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Unto the angel of the church in Philadelphia write these things, saith, He that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man sheddeth, and sheddeth, and no man openeth. I know the works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shed it, for thou hast a little strength, and hath kept my word, and hath not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which that shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write these things, saith, 
the am and the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know the works that thou art neither cold nor hot, I would the red cold nor hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth, because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art wretched and uh, miserable and poor and blind and, uh, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire that thou mayest be rich and uh, white raiment that thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of the nakedness do not appear and anoint the eyes with eyes slave that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be jealous therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him, and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and sat down with my father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Revelation 4, 1 to 11. After this, I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show the things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sad line stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and were the seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four bees. With full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion. And the second beast like a calf. And the third beast had a face as a man. And the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and were full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was, and is, and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Revelation chapter 22, 1 to 21. And he shewed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare to all manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse but the throne of God, and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign for ever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to shew unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. 
Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I, and when I had heard and seen, I fell down to, and I fell down to worship before the feet of the angels which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren, the prophets, and of them which keepeth the sayings of this book, worship God. And he said unto me, Shall not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers, and homongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches, the root and the offspring of David, the bright and the morning star. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is athirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which said these things said, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.